All right, so yesterday or earlier this week, depending on when you are getting to see this video, I did a video on uh, the RX 5700 XT in Hogwarts uh, Legacy, just uh, testing the VRAM usage after the new update, and I realized that this GPU was actually thermal throttling. So what I'm going to be doing is I'll just uh, be playing a little bit of Cyberpunk. I just want to show you the issue. Uh, this is an X mining card, and uh, what we want to do is uh, see if we can actually get the temperatures back to normal. Right. Right, so I'm just going to open up my overlay here. Uh, you can see that the GPU, we're just standing still here. We're at 1440p high. It's the high preset, so FSR is enabled. And you can see that uh, the GPU is sitting at uh, 78 degrees at 98% usage. Just have a look at the clock speed there. It does drop uh, every now and again. But I think the most important number here is the GPU junction temp, which is reaching 110 degrees Celsius. I also have the VRAM temp there, it's uh, sitting at 84 degrees currently. Uh, that's not too bad, it's not ideal, but uh, at least that's not uh, reaching its maximum temp of around 110 degrees Celsius. Uh, the GPU junction is, and as soon as the GPU junction reaches 110 degrees, you'll start seeing thermal throttling. Uh, as well as the core uh, temperatures, as soon as that hits 80 degrees, you will also see some thermal throttling. Right, so I'm not going to be uh, playing too much here. I'm just going to move around a bit. So I just wanted to show you the issue. Uh, somebody wants to talk hey, to me. What's up? So what I'll be doing is uh, I just wanted to heat saturate this card. We're going to run a cyberpunk uh, benchmark, just the built-in benchmark. Then I'll be repasting this GPU and uh, we'll rerun the cyberpunk uh, benchmark to see if we actually saw any improvement in the performance. We might not. I saw yesterday, or oh, depending once again when you watch this video, that in Hogwarts, even if we are thermal throttling, we are not really losing any performance just yet. All right, but let's get to to that built-in benchmark. All right, so I just included the GPU fan speed here as well, so you can see that there's no trickery going on. I'm not going to uh, just increase the GPU fan speed to get the temps down. This is actually at the default fan curve, so no manual fan curve. I just wanna see what uh, happens once we read paste. As you can see, we're at uh, 1440p, and this mouse starts doing weird stuff, and it's the high quick preset. All right, I'm just going to run the benchmark here. All right, and there we have the numbers. I've got uh, the MS Afterburner numbers captured. Uh, we had an average of 66 frames per second. This is according to Afterburner anyway, 1% lows of 48 and 0.1% lows of 45. Now I'm just going to hide MSI. Uh, we'll be using these numbers as well to compare. And uh, all right, let's get to repasting this uh, GPU and let's test it again. All right, so I just uh, took a few pictures of the process. This is just the front view. And if you flip it over, you'll see that there are four screws. You just remove those four screws and the cold plate just comes off. Now, this is what the GPU looks like inside. You can see it's extremely dirty. That's after three years of mining. I clean it up a little bit, but we do need new thermal pads on the memory, which I don't have. I just clean the cold plate as well, and it's uh, looking a little bit better, not the best. And uh, there's my thermal paste application. I don't want to hear it. All right, and we are back in the game after the repaste and cleaning, and you can see that our GPU is now sitting at about 70 degrees Celsius. Uh, for the first time, we are seeing 2000 megahertz on the core clock there. Our uh, GPU fan speed is uh, hovering in the low 80s. It's not 100 anymore, but the biggest change in temp actually came in the form of the GPU junction temperature. It uh, went down from 110, 112 degrees Celsius to about 95 to 100, which is still a bit high, but uh, definitely within the safe limits the vram it went up a little bit uh, i think the memory pads or the thermal pads on the memory just got a little bit uh, damaged uh, during my disassembly i did order some uh, thermal pads for the memory as well so i'll be replacing those but you can see here that uh, our gp is no longer thermal throttling we might not see much of a performance increase but uh, at least the temperatures are down and the gp fan speeds are down as well which means that it's a little bit quieter All right let's get into the benchmark all right, just so you can see, we're still at 1440p and the graphical settings are still on the high preset with the FSR set to quality, so exactly the same as previously. All right, we're just going to run the benchmark now.
All right, and uh, that's the end of our uh, two benchmarks here. You could see that we didn't gain too much performance. The 1% poor and 1% lows on the averages stayed pretty much the same. Where we gained the most was in the noise levels. The fans uh, didn't uh, ramp much past 82%, which uh, I know it's only 18% compared to the previous result, but it does make a big difference in noise levels. Our GPU junction temperature also did not uh, reach thermal throttling temperatures, and neither did our core. All right, uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit that like button hit that subscribe button and as always we hope to see you in the next one